This tutorial brought to you by myvideoproblems.com is on how to save a still picture from your video file using Movie Maker. This is more commonly known as frame grabbing because what you are doing is grabbing one single frame from your video file. With Movie Maker open and a video file already in the collections folder click on that video file and you will have the preview of it open up in the preview screen. It is often best to have a nice large preview screen to find the exact frame that you want so by moving the cursor over the left hand side until we get the double headed arrow we can then drag out the screen and drag down so we get a nice large picture to use. Now if you don't know whereabouts the frame is that you want to grab then just click on the play button so that the movie plays until you get to the place you want to be. Now if you do know whereabouts it is you can click on and then just slide yourself into the position that you want to be approximately. Now when you are in the approximate position you can use these two buttons here which are the previous frame button or the next frame button to find the exact frame that you want. So just by clicking those you can move forward one frame at a time. I think we'll have that one there. To grab this frame Movie Maker very kindly puts us this little button on the bottom here which has a picture of a camera on it. We click on that and we get the save picture as window open up. By default you're saving in the My Pictures uh, folder but you can navigate to wherever you like. Now normally Windows Movie Maker will save the still picture using the video file name which you can see above the preview screen there and follows that with the number 0001 in this case depends how many pictures you've saved as to what number it gives it now I always prefer to name my pictures something a little bit more relevant to me so I'm going to call this one ducks and then 963 because that's its location in the video file by clicking on save Movie Maker saves the picture for us and automatically inserts a copy of it into the collections folder. Now if we make the preview screen a little bit smaller again I can show you a use for a still in a video file. You may print this off or even email it to a friend or relative but you can insert it into the movie quite easily and make a special effect. So we'll just navigate to the position in the movie that the um, still was, which was there, uh, 960, which is close enough to the 963 we were at. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and L to split the movie and then just drag the still down and place it between the two parts of the video file. I'll just make that a little bit smaller and preview it there and you can see how it goes. Now that obviously isn't extremely good just there but it has many uses, the most common being uh, capturing the end uh, frame from a movie and fading out on a still. But I'll leave you to explore its possibilities and that was how to capture a still picture from Movie Maker brought to you by myvideoproblems.com